Hershey Park has 14 different roller coasters, and I'm going to rank them from worst to best. Now, this list is just all my opinion, and I do rank like how much I want to be riding them at this moment right now. Keep in mind, this is all my opinion. Coming in at 14, I'm sorry, it's going to have to be Coco Cruiser. Coco Cruiser is a Zamperla family coaster, and there's nothing that you really can do to make this better. This is a family coaster. Well, not even a family. It's just for the young kids that aren't really tall enough for the throw rides yet, which is why I have to put Coco Cruiser at 14. Coming in at number 13 is Trailblazer. Trailblazer is also a family coaster. It's an aerodynamics mine train. And Trailblazer is that one favorite coaster with all the memories that you have. And like Coco Cruiser, Trailblazer is not trying to do much. It is just simply there for the young kids that are not tall enough for any of the thrill rides or do not want to ride the thrill rides because Trailblazer is just one of those coasters that we all love. Coming in at number 12, I do have Wild Mouse. I don't hate Wild Mouse as much as Grant. Wild Mouse is not that bad. Wild Mouse just has a bunch of hairpin turns and the T-bars do not make a good combo. Wild Mouse is just that one coaster that nobody likes but should get more respect. I know, hot take. Coming in at number 11, I have Super Duper Looper. Super Duper Looper is a great family coaster to introduce you into loops. Why do I have this over Wild Mouse? Well, Super Duper Looper is a great introduction coaster to loops and it's a very chill ride that you'll always get a great ride on even if you get stuck on the mid course which i did not know was possible until it happened to me and super duper looper is just a great ride in the hollow really brings it all together number 10 at hershey park is going to be laugh track laugh track is a great family spinning roller coaster that is just absolutely astonishing the second that you round that turn to the chain lift till you go up the chain lift and meet that laughing clown and the backwards drop if you take the backwards drop is absolutely so fun you spin through the darkness for a crazy ride and laugh track is a great ride the number nine roller coaster at Hershey Park belongs to Jolly Rancher Remix. Jolly Rancher Remix is a Vekoma boomerang that does its job. It recently got a retheme in 2022, which brought it a new theme package and a flavor tunnel, which is absolutely great. The flavor tunnel gives you an amazing head chopper as you head into the vertical loop that pulls a crazy amount of G's that enthusiasts love. And Jolly Rancher Remix is weird to say it, but a great Vacoma boomerang. My number eight roller coaster at Hershey Park is going to be Comet. I know I have not ridden Comet with the new and improved trains since it had opened on opening weekend of 2024, which is kind of embarrassing because Hershey's been open for two weeks now and I still have not got on Comet, but I will likely change that this weekend, hopefully. And Comet just is a very old roller coaster over 75 years old in fact and i believe that it should either be gci titan tracked or just removed in total it's done its purpose at hershey park comments a great like old wooden coaster but with the removal of the buzz bars which gave you airtime but you had to work for that airtime I don't think that it's going to pull any forces this year, and I think Comet should be on the go soon at Hershey Park. It's not going to happen, but it's just my opinion, and they should probably put a better roller coaster in place for Comet, but Comet's a GP pleaser that always has a long line, kind of why I haven't been on it since Hershey last season. Comet's a great family ride, and it deserves this number eight spot. This really pains me to say, but I think my number 7 roller coaster at Hershey Park is Lightning Racer. Lightning Racer is a great GCI dueling model, but I do not think that it can compare to the rest of the rides at Hershey Park anymore. Lightning Racer has been falling off recently. It has gotten a lot more rough over the years and losing its forces. And Lightning Racer cannot stack up to the rest of the roller coasters at Hershey Park anymore. Lightning Racer is a great wooden model, and I wish I could rank it higher, but it just falls short of number 6. 
I think number six may surprise a lot of you guys. But number six, I have Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit is a great Intamin vertical lift coaster. It's the only one like that in the world. But it just does not do anything for me. There's only one moment of airtime besides the drop. And the rest of it is inversions. Which I like, but the Cobra Roll has gotten a little bit of a rattle in the recent years. And it's just not really as fun as the rest of the coasters on this list. And it always has a long wait, so you really wait an hour for a, like, minute-long ride that does not do a lot for you. Kudos to Fahrenheit, though. It is a great ride. The drop sends you out of your seat in the back row, and it's a great overall ride. But it does not compare to number five, Great Bear. Great Bear is a B&M invert that is just great. I guess that's why they call it Great Bear. Grey Bear has four inversions and each of them slap. The first helix off of the drop pulls some crazy positive G's and then sends you into a fun drop. The loop is amazing, pulls so many positive G's and then you got the Immelman that throws you around your seat. The snappy zero G roll and the corkscrew to end it off, just great elements. This takes us to number four. At number four, I have Candemonium. Candemonium is a B&M hyper model, which stands at 210 feet and a 76 degree drop. Candemonium has so much floater air time, I would die for. The outer bank near the end is one of the most surprising elements on any B&M that I've ridden, and all the floater hills are amazing. This is a grand spectacle, it is at the front of the park, it's a GP pleaser. What is there not to love about Candemonium? I know this video has been rushed so far, but now I'm going to try to take a deep dive into each and every one of these top three early coasters. At number three, I have Storm Runner. Storm Runner is a Intamin hydraulic launch coaster, which the hydraulic launch is discontinued, and this is one of three hydraulic launches in America still operating, and this launch packs a punch. 0 to 72 in 2 seconds is just crazy on paper, and it's even better in person. Then you fly up to a top hat into a 90 degree descent, which gives amazing ejector airtime at the top in the back row. Then you go into a Cobra loop that is actually kind of fun, but kind of rattly at the same time. I don't really know what to think about that, but I always gray out at the bottom of the Cobra loop into the descent up to the flying snake dive, which is a grand spectacle over the triple towers and it's just a fun inversion. You go right for a heartline roll and then you dip down like what seems like a crazy drop into an S bend and then you're in the brakes. This does seem like a short coaster, which it is, it's only 29 seconds, but this is gonna be the best 29 seconds of your life. Coming in at number two, I have Sky Rush. Sky Rush is a great ride with a crazy drop and ejector airtime that will make you want to leave, drop everything, and go to Hershey Park this instant. Sky Rush's layout is just consists of drop, turn, airtime, turn, airtime, turn, turn harder, stangle dive, turn, turn, airtime, turn, brakes. On paper, this might seem boring, but this is going to be the best ride of your life. Skyrush's airtime is just unfathomable, and the new restraints make you actually be able to enjoy it instead of your entire lower body being absolutely decimated. So this leads us to our number one spot. My number one roller coaster at Hershey Park is going to be Wildcat's Revenge. Wildcat's Revenge is an RMC hybrid which is amazing and should be on every enthusiast's top 15 at least. Wildcat's Revenge is a 140 foot tall, absolutely crazy hybrid that sends you all over the place. There's laterals in places that there shouldn't be, there's airtime in places that there shouldn't be, and the inversions all give excellent hang time. I put this over Skyrush because it won, it has inversions, which Skyrush doesn't have, but I do believe that the airtime is almost on point as Skyrush. Do you agree with me? Let me know in the comments. Thank you all for watching and have a Hershey Park happy day.